This is the necklace that we're going to make. And this one is made with 11-0 Toho seed beads, but the pattern also works with 11-0 Czech seed beads, like this piece here and this piece in another color scheme here. So let's talk about the materials we're going to need. For this necklace, you're going to need Super Duos in a main color and an accent color. You're also going to need 11-0 seed beads in a main color and an accent color. These are Toho seed beads, but you can actually use uh, Czech seed beads in this pattern, which are a little smaller, and they also work quite well with this pattern. You're also going to need two six or eight seed beads to connect the clasp with jump rings. Now on the website, the pattern shows you how to make it um, by sewing in the clasp, so you don't need the jump rings or the six or eight seed beads. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make it with the jump rings and the six or eight seed beads. Um, I like making clasps this way now because uh, it allows me to change out the clasp if I need to. So let's get started. I'm using a size 10 needle with six pound fire line. I'm going to start by adding four accent seed beads, two main color seed beads, and a six or eight seed bead. String that on. And I'll go back up through those beads to form a loop. And I'll tie a knot. And then I will go back through the four accent seed beads. One, two, three, four. Then I'll put on two accents and three main color seed beads, string those on. And then I want to go through the last four accent seed beads. One, two, three, four. I'm going to make my first bud here. So I'm going to put on two accent colors, a main color seed bead, an accent super duo, main color seed bead, and a main color super duo and the main color seed bead. So I'm going to string that on. Then I want to go back through the other hole of the first super duo. Then I add a main color seed bead, and I go through the last four accent color seed beads. I've started the bud here, and I'm going to finish it. I'm going to go through main color seed bead, accent super duo, and seed bead. Main, two main color seed beads and main color super duo and go through the tip of this super duo. Then I reverse that, I put the super duo on, then the two main color seed beads and string that on. Then I want to go through the other hole of the super duo I just put on. Put on an accent super duo and go through the other hole of the other super duo. Add two seed beads 
and go through all three of the main color super duos. two seed beads and I want to go through the seed bead, the super duo, and the seed bead here. And then I'll finish by going through the four accent colors above it. One, two, made our first bud. The next step we'll repeat five times. Put on two accent colors and three main colors and then we string that on. And then we want to go through the last four accent colors. That back over. Add two accents and three main colors. String it on. And go through the last four accent colors. I've done it twice. One, two. We're going to do it three more times. Put on two accents and three main colors, string it on, and go through the last four accent colors. Two accent colors, three main colors, string it on and go through the last four accent colors. We've done it one, two, three, four. I need to do it one more time. Two accents and three mains. And go through the last four accent colors. Now we're ready to make our next bud. Put on two accent colors, a seed bead, accent super duo, seed bead, main super duo, and another seed bead. String that on. Then we want to go through the other hole of the first super duo, which is the accent color. We add a seed bead and then go through the last four accent colors. And that forms a little bit of a T there, the beginning of the bud. I'll finish it by going down a seed bead, super duo seed bead. Add two seed beads and a main super duo and go through the tip. Reverse that and put on the super duo first and then the two seed beads and string that on. Go through the other hole of that last super duo you added. Add the accent super duo. 
go to the other holes. Add two seed beads and go through all three of the main color super duos. Add two seed beads and go to the seed bead super duo seed bead. And we'll go through the last four accent colors on top of it. One, two, three, four. So here's where we're going to, we're going to repeat the pattern. Two accents and three mains, string it on and go through the last four accents. Two accents, three main colors, string it on, and go through the last four accent colors. Add two accents and three mains, string it on. And go through the last four accent colors. Two accents, three mains, String it on and go through the last four accent colors. Okay, so we've done it one, two, three, four. We need to do it one more time to make five. A two accent and three main seed beads. String it on. And then go through the last four accent colors. Ready to make our next bud? Two accents, main seed bead, accent super duo, main seed bead, main super duo and main seed bead. String that on. We want to go through the other hole of the first accent seed bead or super duo. Add a main seed bead and go through the last four accent seed beads. Started the bud, so now we're going to finish it by going through seed bead, super duo, seed bead. Add two main seed beads to the main super duo and go through the tip. Then we string on a super duo and two seed beads. And we want to go through the other hole of the, seed, of the super duo we just added. Add an accent super duo and go through the other hole. Add two seed beads and go through all three of the main color super duos. The 
Hold that tight. Add two seed beads and go through this seed bead super duo and seed bead at the top. Now, as you're going, these can get twisted around, and don't worry about that, they'll get locked in in the second row. But if they get twisted around, just make sure you're trying to keep this flat and not like twist it around that might look like that, where these are not, these aren't flat. It's okay if they twist up at this, uh, during this row because they'll get stabilized in the next one. So now that I've done this, I wanna go through the last four accent color beads. to get ready to repeat my pattern again. So I've made three buds. Um, I want to continue the necklace to be about 16, 17 inches long or your desired length. And um, so just continue with the five chains and a, and a bud, five chains and a bud, and um, continue that to the desired length. Okay, I've continued the first row. I'm about a half an inch away from the my desired length. And um, so I'm going to show you how to finish the first row and start the second. Um, so far, um, we have done a bud and one, two, three, four, five chains. So we're ready for our very last bud. So I'll put on two accent color beads, a main color bead, a super duo accent color, main color seed bead, main color super duo, and a main color seed bead. And I'll string that on. I want to go through the other hole of the first accent super duo. Add a seed bead and go through the last four accent colors of seed beads. And I want to finish the bud by going through seed bead, super duo seed bead. String on two seed beads and a main color super duo and go through the tip. Put on super duo and two seed beads, string it on. Then I want to go through the other hole of the super duo I just put on. Add an accent super duo. Go through the other super duo. Add two seed beads. Go through all three main color super duos. Pull that tight. Add two seed beads and go through the seed bead super duo seed bead to finish the bud. Then we go through the last four Accent colors. One, two, three, four. And we're ready to finish the row. Add two accents and three mains. 
string it on. Flip it over and go through the last four accent colors. And for this last one, we'll put on two accent colors, a six or eight seed bead and two main colors. String it on. And then go through the last four accent colors. And here, just to get ready for the second row, I'm gonna go back through the three main colors, the six or eight plus the two 11 O's. And then I wanna go through these two accent colors and these two that are above, the four that are above the last bud you just made. And then I want to go down this this whole side to be coming out of this seed bead. And that will set us up for the second row. So I go through seed bead, super duo, and the rest of the seed beads. So now we are ready to start the second row. But before I do that, I'm going to continue my thread. Take the needle off. I've got a, another thread to continue, so I just tie a square knot. to connect the two ends. Then I take a lighter. You get, I have a torch style lighter, but you can use any lighter. Touch the end, touch the end. That one got a little bit, here I'll snip that. Torch that side again so it has a ball like this one. So I've got two little balls on the end, then I can pull it tight. And this is knot is small enough to go through 11 O's. So now we can start the second row. I'll start by putting on five main color seed beads an accent super duo, main color seed bead, main color super duo, and a main color seed bead. And I'll string that on. And I'm gonna make another bud here, very similar to the other ones we've been making. I first want to go through the other hole of the accent super duo. Put on an accent seed bead and go back down the other side.
and put on two seed beads in a super duo and go through the tip. I'm going to put on main color super duo and three seed beads this time. Then I want to go back up through the last super duo I added in this other hole. Add an accent super duo and go through the other side. Put on three seed beads and go through all three main color super duos. Add two seed beads and go up through the other seed bead and other side of the super duo. We need the accent one. Now before we do the next step, we want to make sure this segment is flat and not twisted because we're gonna lock it in in this next step. And if you sew it in while it's twisted, you can't untwist it, so important to check that. Add five seed beads, and we wanna go up this entire side and back down the other side. So we'll go through these seed beads. One, two, three, four. Seed bead, super duo, seed bead. Across these accents, um, accent beads on the top. And down these two. Now we want to go down this side. Seed bead, super duo. The next four seed beads and the last one. We'll repeat that by adding five seed beads, accent super duo, seed bead, main super duo, and seed bead. We'll string that on. And we want to go back through the accent, the other hole of the accent super duo. Add an accent C bead and go through first side of the accent super duo and the next seed bead. Add 
add two seed beads and a main super duo go through the tip add a main super duo and three seed beads string that on And we want to go through the other hole of the seed bead we just added. Add an accent super duo and go through the other side. Add three seed beads and go through the, all three main color super duos, super duos only. And pull that tight. Add two seed beads and go through the seed bead and super duo at the top of the bud. Now for this next step, you always want to check that this is flat and not twisted before you lock in to this bud. So I put on five seed beads and I want to go through up, up the side of this bud through the accent colors and down this side. Going through four. Seed bead, super duo, seed bead. Through two of the accent colors and the next two. Total of four. And then I want to go down through this side. Seed bead super duo and the rest of the five seed beads. Two. Three, four, and five. repeat this one more time so that you get the pattern for the second row. Start by stringing on five seed beads, accent super duo, seed bead, main color super duo, and seed bead. String it on. Then I want to go through the other hole of the first super duo or the accent color. Add an accent color seed bead and go down through the original side. Now we can finish the bud. Add two seed beads and a super duo and go through the tip. Put a super duo on and three main color seed beads. String that on. And then you wanna go through the other hole of, this, of the super duo you just added. Add an accent color and go through the other side.
add three seed beads and go through all three main color super duos. Pull that tight. Add two seed beads and go through the seed bead and super duo. In this next step, you want to make sure this, this part is flat, not twisted, before you lock into this next bud. So you add five seed beads and go all the way up through these seed beads, up and around the accent colors, and all the way down these seed beads. through the first two accent colors and the second two accent colors. And through the side of this bud. So bead super duo. You see beads. Three, four, and five. So that's pretty much the pattern for the second row. You just continue that to the end of the necklace. Okay, I'm on my last bud of this, the last row, the second row here. So I'm gonna put on five seed beads, an accent super duo, a seed bead, a main super duo, and a seed bead. And string that on. Now I'm gonna go up through the fir the other hole of the first super duo add an accent seed bead and go down the other side of the super duo and seed bead now I'll finish that bud. I'll add two seed beads and a super duo and go through the tip. Then I'll string on a super duo and three seed beads. Then I want to go through the other hole of the seat of the super duo I just put on. Add an accent super duo, go through the other side. Add three seed beads and go through all three main color super duos. Add two seed beads and go through the seed bead and super duo at the top. Add 
add five seed beads and now that this is straight I can go through this last bud, the side of this last bud. I'm going to continue up through the Super Duo. And through the next seed bead as well as the two accent seed beads above the bud. And here I'm going to con just continue around the, um, the accent seed beads and just go around here and tie a knot. Going through the next two accent seed beads, the next two accent seed beads. Two accent seed beads through the large seed bead and the next two. We got through one, going through two, and then we'll go through the accent seed beads one more time. One, two, three, four. And here's where I'll tie a knot. I'll snip those ends. And so all there is left is to add the clasp. Take your jump ring and open it. Feed it through the large seed bead. Add the clasp and close it. And we'll add a jump ring to the other side. Take your jump ring and open it. Feed it through the large seed bead. And close it. Now, we have a working clasp. And that's the finished necklace.